Hi guys, um, I'm going to explain you today about this SAS PROC contents procedure. So this uh, procedure is very important and it provides information about the contents of a data set. Like uh, if you want to know about what is the name of the data set, how many variables are in that data set and how many observations are there. And uh, what are the attributes of those variables? Those are either numeric variable or, you know, uh, is a character variable. So those kind of information you can get it from uh, proc uh, uh, contents procedure. So um, these are the, you know, basic information you will get from proc contents. Uh, data set attributes like what engines uh, you know you are using to process this data what is the name of the data set what is the length and how many observations are there in that data set and how many variables are there and from the variable attributes you will know about the name of the variables like what are the name of the variables and what are the types either they are numeric variables or character variables or they are alphanumeric variables or date so and also about the length and what if there is any format or informant associated with that and also about the label if like any further description of variables are actually incorporated with your data so for example you know uh, this is uh, a data set that is i'm showing here uh, in this um, screenshot you can see that uh, i have a data set known tem underscore class so when i run this program uh, proc content data is equal to tem underscore class so I will get this information in our result, uh, you know, section and you will see that the content procedure is name, uh, set name and you will see this is now work library and this is the name of the, your data set. This is the number of observation like this is 19 observations are there in this data set and number of variables and if this data is sorted or not you can see this is not sorted data so if you have any sorted data it will identify the data is already sorted and other than that uh, engine information and you know there is no any label or anything is associated with that that's why you know label is missing and other than that engine information it is very important you can see that this also provide data set page size and sometime in SAS uh, exam for certification this question is actually asked that which uh, SAS procedure actually provide the information about the uh, page so at the end you can see this also provide the attributes of the uh, you know variables like these are the variables and some of them are numeric and some of the character so you can see that by default the variables name are ordered alphabetically like from a h n s and um, you know w so these variables are arranged in alphabetical order and this is by default and if you want to change the order like what it is in the data set you have to use some option that i will explain you later so I already showed you like you know how the proc contents procedure works in SAS and but here I wanted to show in the you know live in my SAS studio so my SAS studio is open here and I can show you like this is my data set I will open it so you can see that uh, this is the you know my data set and these are the variables actually here like name sex age height and weight so when i run this proc content procedure i will get all the information that i explained you earlier about the uh, data set attributes name of the data how many observations are there what number of variables are there and importantly you can identify if the data is sorted or not and other than that we will get the information about the variables attributes like what are the variables there as i already explained you about it that what are their types and what are the lengths of these variables and importantly these variables are arranged in alphabetical order and if you want to change this order like if you need order of the column order what are present in the real data set so if you want column order you have to specify another option here which is varnum option so when you use varnum option and when you run this program this uh, variable name will uh, display in column order 
and um, if you want you know sometime we need like we need both alphabetical as well as column order we have to use another option now uh, which is a position option so when you use position option you will get both the information here like um, this variable attributes you know uh, these variables are arranged here in alphabetical order and as well as these variables are arranged here in a column order so and other than that sometime we need like you know um, information say about only the variables like what are the variables are present in that uh, particular data set so in that case you can use short option so this will provide you about the variables name only no other information or details uh, is actually uh, showing here about the length or you know uh, it is numeric or character you will not get that kind of information but just the name of the variables uh, you know in alphabetical order so this is a few options that you can use in prop contents to get you know information uh, about the data set attributes and variables attributes thank you very much